This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and... Well... Undertale again. <laughs> Going to get this better ending that was spoken of at the end of the game last time. Now I'm probably actually supposed to reset the game, huh? Because as it is here, I'm kind of stuck here at the end, huh? Um... Right. Anywho, let's launch that again. <laughs> okay, that means we're gonna start and clear from the beginning again, huh? Ah, boy. Here we are again. Boy, does this look familiar. <laughs> Excuse me, I might be a little sniffly this time around. Remember, this time you've got to become friends with everyone. Okay? You don't, you'll be miserable forever. Oh, uh, thanks. That, that's no pressure or anything. We wouldn't want that, would we? No, I just want you to be happy, right? Good luck. Well, at least he didn't try to kill me this time. Are you alright? You must be so lost and confused. Nothing about the, uh, the vile creature trying to harm me this time, because it didn't this time. Just do every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Yes, we've got all this, although she doesn't seem to remember. Flowey sure as heck does. Then again, he was messing with the saves earlier, so... I guess it would make sense that... Flowey knows, huh? an answer to the puzzle right on the... I didn't really realize that was actually the answer to the puzzle. Do not walk the middle road. Yeah. How silly of me that I didn't notice that the first time around. <laughs> you know, if you've done all this labeling, it kind of defeats the purpose of why the puzzles are there to begin with, huh? Switch doesn't even work. I never tried it after she left last time. <laughs> oh, I know how this works. I got through the game peacefully last time. Including that crazy fish lady that was trying to kill me, so... Yes. I wonder... If I can get what worked in the demo to work this time, if I just continue to spare it. Yeah. 
Yep. Yep, it still does that. <laughs> In the face she's got on. The next room awaits. Yeah, like, I don't even know what to say to that anymore. Once again, the answers to the puzzles are here. But she doesn't want me to solve any of them. Still makes me wonder if there's an answer to Metaton's puzzle. I'm going to have to try and figure that out. Probably not this playthrough, but... Yeah. Seems like something I'd find in the Fool's Errand or something. Or some other such puzzle game with a big old complex set of rules and trying to figure out just how to get through it. It's not the kind of thing you would put a 30 second time limit on, though. Oh dear. I have to walk through a long, empty hallway by myself. This is a very long hallway. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. You know, I should probably actually equip things this time, huh? I never did that last game. Sans even pointed that out. I never really did- well, actually I did in the demo, I suppose. Although, it does make me wonder if any of these options will end up being brought up at the end of the game. <laughs> and then it still lets you do this. <laughs> weird this time around. That's... Ha. Huh. That's kind of funny. Oh, it takes a second time this time. Silly dialogue options are silly. Alright, oh, got some sort of healing item. Here's a non licorice flavor. I'm going to assume it's butterscotch or something.
Yeah, I never did that whole fight and tell her weakened option, but... I usually don't need to, so... Then you might end up killing them anyway, so... That wouldn't be a good thing. strange that the only way to get through this room is to fall down a giant pit and then climb back up. It seems dangerous. This kid is very resilient to falling long distances, it seems. I do kind of remember it a little. wonder what kind of effects different things have if you were to reset the game and what people might remember now. Because Toriel seems to remember that preference. Even though the game reset and all. And yes, I do remember the solution to this. I'm going to get through without falling down in the slightest. Ah! Oh dearie me. Was kind of bad. <laughs> ah, I need to warm up my bullet hell skills again. <laughs> it, it pushed me along. I was in just the right position. <laughs> So wait a minute, how did Toriel get over this? Did the rocks reset themselves? And more importantly, how would you get back over this? Ah. Yeah. Alrighty. I gotta interact with everything, so I'll be different a second time around. Who knows? All disease. Saying it out loud. Over and over again. Okay. Well, we know what to do. Uh, 
Uh, right, and then we've got the... Well, I don't have any monies. <laughs> Still, uh... That's really easy. Oh right, this is the thing where everybody else has to be out of the room. <laughs> because it's the innocent Moldswall that was there, sitting there, made him have peer pressure. Yep, I don't know. Yes. I need to have room in my pockets up until I get to... Uh... <laughs> what if I say it's bad? <laughs> tell all my friends, tell the friends' friends. Never use yellow names. How about that? Okay, I'll let them know not to use yellow names. Well then. I wonder what'll happen then. There is just one switch. And it's right here. Hmm. What's Snow's to Bloop doing down there in that room? Little tiny bouncy things. Oh, did I like to actually turn off the hint things? Fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> okay, the yellow names thing was kinda sort of helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Pink names. <laughs> they all threw out their yellow names. Alright then. Well, uh... <laughs> no, I, no, I don't want to fight. I didn't mean to do that. Though I suppose I could do the game without yellow names. I think I know what I'm doing, but... Oh dear, Amy, that's really light pink, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder what he'd do if I talked to him again. <laughs> I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck with pink names now. Those two are paired up, you just spare and spare again, you don't even have to dodge anything. Yep. I thought I had that memorized, I guess not. <laughs> I 
Well then. I could just read the sign, I suppose. Ah, I press the red one again. And it doesn't give you a yes or no option for the other switches, it just drops you down a pit. Jays. Oh, There's too many bouncy things. Ah. Yes, there we go. Down to just one. I'd probably heal myself this way. Maybe. Or maybe not. Because I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to hit that. Ah! No. Switch yet. Okay. Ah. Mm. an item. Probably won't have a whole lot of practical use in this playthrough, because once again, we're kind of not attacking anything. off on the snail pie for right now. <laughs> but that's I guess cargo or something, isn't it? Sort of. <laughs> yeah, let's go over here this time. Alrighty then. Oh, 
<laughs> Why would I say look at these cool toys if they didn't interest you in the slightest? <laughs> ah, the lamp actually works in this room. book about that somewhere and oh, certain there's some of those yellow flowers up there You don't read it. I thought I might have read a different passage. I don't know. A water sausage. It's a typha. Didn't you read the actual name? Well, yes, I'm looking at the chat, I suppose. If, that, if you're talking about me answering questions. Interesting, all right. <laughs> well, there's not like a million people on the stream, so you know, it's not like impossible to answer questions, you know. <laughs> It's gonna be weird when I post this as a standalone let's play and it's like, yes, I'm talking to people. One way exit. Why is it a one way exit? <laughs> understand. I need to do this. I can't explain this to you without, uh, you know, without sounding really crazy because you don't remember anything, but I need to do this. Hopefully, we can do it this time without her having to avoid attacks on me. Last time I got so damaged that she stopped attacking me outright, and everything dodged me. Hopefully, we can do it well enough this time that that doesn't happen. Ow, shit, that's not a good start. Damn it! Ow! Oh, come on! Bollocks! Oh, 
to... <laughs> I swear, every time someone is able to hit me, Jesus, fuck. Oh, come on. We got to this point even quicker than last time. No, not a good man. I swear when I played the demo, I was able to do it without getting to this point. There was mention of a better ending at the end of the game. Whatever that is, that's what we're going for. And I'm obviously not going... I mean, look what I'm doing. One of those options is obviously not happening right now. <laughs> And I do kind of know. I mean, I played the demo, so I know there is there is a different route for stabby stabby murdering everything, but that's not what we're going for yet. <laughs> I don't know the specifics of the different routes, I just know... I know there's different routes. And one of them is kill everything, that's rather straightforward, I think. But yes... Huh, Flowey doesn't even come over here to talk to me this time. I guess... because it already knows what I'm doing, so... I guess that makes sense. That he wouldn't be there to taunt me this time around. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that does get to me. Even though this is not the first time I've seen it. <laughs> So the branch doesn't break when I step on it. I went around it the first time because I was absolutely certain there would be a noise made if I step on it and something bad would happen. <laughs> hey all. I know who you are. It skipped the whole thing about turning around to shake someone's hand or whatever. The whole thing the first time around. So, the protagonist definitely knows everything through the resets. Wait a sec, you heard it before or something? Turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? 
if she's supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know. Yes. He's a human hunting fanatic, alright. <laughs> Something along those lines. Master of traps, indeed. You know what's up, brother. <laughs> Staring at this lamp. <laughs> It's like he tried to give away a position, but the pirates didn't listen to him because he thought he was just joking around. And yeah, the angle. You would think the angle he would see me, but, uh, you know, video game logic. And besides, it is papyrus. <laughs> besides, the skeletons, they don't have eyes anyways. How do they see anything? Recognition. I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard. <laughs> yes. Does the Royal Guard get? I mean, everybody seems to like Papyrus already. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. <laughs> Sans is like trying, trying to tell him where you are. It, it is possible they all see from the angle of the game, because the signs kind of describe it all that way. <laughs> Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Even, you know, even Papyrus joins in on the puns. This whole... This whole, uh, thing, yeah, th th the whole game is filled with puns. I mean, Sans especially, but... I mean, he's got the blue jacket and everything. I'm, I'm telling you, Sans is just an... Sans is just Carlos, who got out by the, uh, skin of his teeth. I want to take the lamp with me. It could be like my cardboard box. Say, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? <laughs> Don't worry. A little sad is even like, Papyrus isn't dangerous. Check the booth. Now, yeah, it's the same description as before. I suppose I should have checked it again to see if it was different, but... <laughs> it's one of Sans's many hot dog stands, apparently. So there's an illegal hot dog stand in the, in the ending somewhere. I don't know how a hot dog stand can be illegal, exactly. Do they have, like, licensing issues? Do they have licensing issues in the underworld? Uh... Maybe they, maybe they have licensing, business licensing in the underworld, too. I don't know. The underground underworld. I guess it's underground, isn't it? Underworld is like... That's something different entirely. Oop. Hmm. 
Yes, this was that. I remember running into the comedian. That's definitely his son, then. a date, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Badoom -tsh. I don't know how Sans and Papyrus are able to spaz out like they're able to defy the laws of physics. <laughs> Sans! Is that a human? Uh, excessive punctuation marks. It looks so familiar. <laughs> uh, I think it looks familiar because it's a rock. They do seem to have some slight memory of me from the time before, but they don't really quite remember. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Do they know about God in the underground? I suppose a few Bibles would have had to make their way down there. I'm thinking about this way too hard. I violated it! Oh, I'm, I'm gonna tell me so popular! Ahem. <laughs> you shall not pass! Oh dearie me. Oh, the great papyrus will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then! I'm not sure what's next. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you what's next. It wouldn't be pleasant. Well, for me, anyway. <laughs> I'll keep it out while I sock it out for you. They seem to have eyes. Maybe they're made of magic. Uh, how did I get past this one? I think I was supposed to ignore it a couple of times. Dodge the, uh, dodge the, uh, trigonometric waves. Observe the well-crafted sentry station. It looks like a cardboard box to me. Who could have built this Ubanda? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> yep. Cardboard box. I should be able to use that to sneak in the underground undetected. Ah, yes. This... This thing is... I wonder why I can only see moving things. Is that a... Is that a thing with animal, like some animals? I really don't know. Wasn't that a plot point in a movie somewhere? Well, even in the later Metal Gear Solid games, cardboard boxes really don't work all that well most of the time. You're in an outdoor environment most of the time. It really just doesn't work. Oh, did that happen in Jurassic Park? The whole... ...movement thing? It's been a really long time since I've seen that movie, to be totally honest.
Something pet. Well, wouldn't you have to move to pet to. You know what? Never mind. It really makes me wonder what those dog treats are made out of if someone can smoke them. I was going to say that it was like a Predator movie or something that was a movement based, but I think that was a, that, that was a heat based, I think. Because I seem to remember him dod uh, evading it by being in the water or something. Which is kind of silly, you would still give off heat from that, but... I guess it wouldn't be as visible. Or, I don't know. <laughs> I remember commenting that, uh, the, uh, the blue, the shades of blue were different when he was talking about his special blue attack and the blue ones that, uh, you had to stop for. And that the, the colors were different. I actually ate the snowman piece last time, but I guess it didn't really matter because I never ran into the snowman again. But maybe on this better ending. Because I did keep it all the way to the Asgore boss fight and then I accidentally ate it. It's a very potent healing item. Really though, that human, do I know that person? Do you not know who you know? Of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know. I know who I know as much as I know. I know who I know. You know, I don't know how the snowman piece survives Heartland. Maybe you're keeping it in like a thermos or something. I really have no idea. You know? <laughs> oh ho, speak of the devil. I'm not the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. Oh dear. The amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead. Right. I, I didn't even enter the maze yet. I think the human has sold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold this, please. <laughs> Try now. Oh, Dawn, I thought I could just go around it. <laughs> Kind of very odd. The electricity actually does nothing to you. <laughs> oh, it could be magic. Yes, I, I, su I suppose. You will surely be confounded. <laughs> He's like, I know I'm confounded, like Sansa's own puzzle confounds Papyrus. It's actually funny that a lot of spicy food is generally in hotter areas. So by that logic, ice cream should be perfect for cold weather. Or nice cream. Good to have some healing items on me. That should do it. Uh, 
right, this thing. It really only gives you one gold, doesn't it? Except the snowball, kinda. I wonder what happens if you get it in there when it's like smaller or something. It's like the most unintuitive golf game in existence. Ugh. Light blue. Ball is small. You waited still for this opportunity. The d ball is sharp attack. You are awarded for... So it's different depending. So last time I got it in there when it was big and... It was like 1G and the flag was green and it had a different description. Is there another path up this way? Or am I as I seeing things? Fried snow. I kept hitting by until the end last time. He said he didn't have any snow. <laughs> I should charge way more than that. <laughs> ah. If you say so. I remember that sign as a hint to the... <laughs> I hope you're ready for... Sands! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Because it's impossible. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not even entirely sure if skeletons is on here. Could be. Oh, it's backwards in the middle row there. Skeletons is in there. I think all of the words are on here except for that long nonsensical word which is misspelled on, up on the top, so... It's literally impossible. Sads, I didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. <laughs> well, like I said before. I don't like crosswords very well, like I've said the last time around. I should have answered the other way, though, just to see what the dialogue was, to be totally honest, since this is the second time through. And yeah, that, uh, that U in the middle, the F-U-B, it's F-E-B on the search on the bottom, it's, uh... I looked. I looked to see whether the word search is solvable. I'm weird that way. <laughs> and yeah, the, uh... The spaghetti's frozen, which really does make me think there has to be some method for making the snow not melt over in Hotland. It's in your inventory, that's... That's obviously what it is. Did some microwave is unplugged. I don't think there's any place to plug it in around here unless you've got a generator. I need that's what I need. I need to find myself a generator. Yeah, I remember what happened with this thing when I pet it over and over again. It, uh... It kind of stretched its neck clear up and over and down the screen again. It, uh... It was strange. 
it kind of, uh... Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know if I should take the time to do it this time around so much. <laughs> Uh, I'm just not looking at the chat all that often. <laughs> Usually I'm looking at the game, but they're not on the same screen. Ah, I gotta wait till it's moving, and then... Do it. I really... Yeah. I've got it clear down to where it would, uh go behind the text box and say that it's uh, learning to read. And then his neck goes back, back down to normal once I've spared him. <laughs> Alright, it's in between the trees. A switch hidden in the snow. Looks like the snow is cleared from that spot, unless it's a layer of snow. There's multiple layers of snow, which is entirely possible, I suppose. And the dog executioners, or something. It seems like they're not using their eyes. I mean, I know dogs have a strong sense of smell. Though, that makes me wonder. And thanks to the sign earlier, and my previous playthrough, gotta roll around, and then we smell like a weird puppy. <laughs> oh dear. Don't chop my soul. <laughs> Are you actually a little puppy? Maybe. We're gonna go with that, I think. Ah, damn. I didn't move down enough. Ah, okay, I guess I didn't finish with that yet. The pink is so light that sometimes I think I can spare already and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, goody. They're doing that just in time for Valentine's Day. Why are the axes still there if they think I'm a puppy? Help! <laughs> Thanks, weird puppy that walks on two legs and has fur on only its head. <laughs> How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, sir, any that for me? Last time I said I left it, so... Really? Wowie, no one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, Fred's not human. I, Master Chef of House, make you all the pasta you could ever want. It practically says the same thing with the other option, too. Like, you left it for me. <laughs> No, worry not. I like all the spaghetti you could ever want. <laughs> Sock collection. <laughs> You're taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
In other words, I'm not going to solve it, is what he is saying. <laughs> of course, this isn't exactly a hard puzzle, especially since it kind of allows slight backtracking like that. <laughs> Might even be too easy. Yeah, after you've played stuff like Cliff Johnson's games, puzzles like this are kind of easy after that. You must be really good at puzzles, huh? I mean, it's impossible for you to have seen this one before. Is it? Did it change from last time? Or does he just not know? Hmm. These are the rules that I'm going to have to write down if I ever go to try and solve Metaton's puzzle. Once I turn the switch, they'll begin to change color, and they all... Yeah, red tiles are impassable. Yellow tiles are electric, so they are practically impassable as well. Green tiles are alarm tiles. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles. You can't go through them if you smell like oranges. And electrocution. Purple tiles are slippery. But if you step on a purple tile, then you can walk across water again? Pink tiles don't do anything. <laughs> no, I don't understand this. Electric and dangerous. Blue tiles make you fight a monster. Green tiles are water tiles. Oh. <laughs> Wait, there are no brown tiles. Purple tiles select like ruins. Why don't the yellow ones will them any? Um, wait, did I make some green? <laughs> Oh dear, he doesn't even remember the rules. Blue the water ones, pink tiles, I don't remember. Wait, those ones don't do anything. <laughs> even less. <laughs> okay, you know what? How about you just do this puzzle all your own, leave the instructions, just read them. Then you understand you can throw the switch and do it at your own pace. Look, yeah, <laughs> Oh dear. Um. Well, I didn't quite expect it, the puzzle to just not happen. Ah. <laughs> uh, actually, that's spaghetti for her earlier. It wasn't too bad for her brother. This is so cookie this has been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up next to her, he even makes something edible. It's a legible chicken scratch. What would happen if I were to... The machine isn't working. So I can't even flip the switch for the puzzle if I wanted to. Bah. 